Hello and welcome to Shark Jets, I'm Skid Viz. If you've played many VR games, you know that uh, real estate is very precious and you can't just like throw HUD items all over the screen because it makes people nauseous and stuff like that. So we have to get creative with how we show information. Uh, and so we've come up with the hands up display where if you put your palm up, I guess the palm up display, if you put your palm up, it will show a little bit of a HUD interface so that you can do stuff without stuff floating around in front of your face. So that's what we're gonna try to accomplish in this video. But first, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so YouTube tells people I'm alive. All right, without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so here we are in Unity. I'm using Unity 2019 LTS. I also have VRIF installed, so you'll need that to follow along. The link is in the description. Um, I've created a plane so that I have a place to stand on and I will now bring in the XR rig. And just bring that up one, just so that I feel comfortable with it. And uh, I'm gonna add a canvas to use as our interface. Okay, so with the canvas, the first thing it does is by default, it sets itself to screen space. We'll wanna change that to world space. We wanna pick the camera, which is gonna be our center eye. So we'll click on that. We are good to go there. Um, then when you add the canvas, it adds the event system. We'll wanna click on that, disable this standalone input module and add the VR UI system instead, which lets us uh, use the VR interaction stuff. And then I will go ahead and make some changes to this canvas uh, because it's default settings have it somewhere out in space. So I'm gonna zero this out on the X, Y, and Z so that it's in the center of the screen here now. And then I'm gonna set a width and height to 100. I'm gonna set the scale to 0 .001, 0 0.001, and leave that as is. Then I'm gonna add an image to it just so we can actually see it. Uh, so canvas image and let's zoom in so we can see now that it's this little tiny thing here, which is what we want. Now color that black. And I will also add a button just as a thing to interact with. I accidentally just moved the image. You gotta be very careful what you're actually selecting when you're moving things. So I'll select the canvas and move that up. And then I can add a button and set that to 90 so it fits in the boundaries. And um, now we need to find our hand, there it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the hand so that it selects it for me. And then I'm going to close all of this and I'm gonna stick that canvas inside of the uh, left controller. So I will just find the canvas here and just drag it into this. So now it's parented to the left controller. Uh, I'm also gonna rearrange its position. I know where I want it. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and change these numbers. This one's gonna be 0 0.1. This one's gonna be negative 0 0.02. And this one's going to be negative 0 0.03. Uh, so you can see now that it's kind of aligning with our palm. It's facing the wrong way, so we'll need to rotate it. We'll do that back there also with this rotation. We'll set this to negative 90 and now you can see it's facing up with the palm of the hand so now we're done with this part uh, i need to create a script now to actually do all of our uh, thinking so i'll just uh, right click on assets c sharp script and uh, i'm just going to call it uh, palm up display And let's open that up. All right, so as usual, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put some code down and then come back and explain it. 
All right, so here we are. This one's actually really short. Um, we want to make sure we're using BNG so we can use the VRIF components. Um, and then we are creating two variables. One is a serialized field so we can add to it in the interface, in the editor. Um, it is a game object called HUD. The next one is a private grabber called grabber. Um, and this, we're going to use this to determine if we're holding anything because we don't want the HUD to show up while we're actually like holding something. Um, and then in our start method, all we're doing is we are searching the children of this component for a grabber object. Uh, and we're assigning that to the grabber variable. And so if we go back into Unity, you can see we're putting this, uh, we're going to put this palm with the script on this left controller anchor. So I'll just go ahead and drag that there. Um, and then it's going to ask for the HUD. So we'll just drag the canvas into that. And so as you can see, it's going to be here. So it's going to look in its children, which includes all of this. It's going to find the grabber and assign that grabber into that variable. So that's what's happening there. Uh, and then in the update, we're going to do a few checks. Uh, we're creating a variable in here called rotation, which is just going to hold um, our rotation. So it looks for this object, the transform gets its rotation, converts that into Euler angle angles, which is um, a more readable way of, of, you know, when you say 90 degrees and stuff like that. Um, so that's going to hold that. And then we got two variables here that are just going to be if statements that are kind of uh, going to let us know if we're within a certain range. Um, so this variable X range is going to be equal to the rotation dot X is greater than negative 10 and the rotation dot X is less than 10. So that means that our palm is facing forward. We have our fingers facing forward instead of to the side somewhere. Um, and then the next one here, the variable called Z range, is going to be doing the same thing, but basically on the Z uh, parameter and the, on the Z axis. Um, and it's going to make sure that Z is greater than 80 and that Z is less than 100. So that means that we're somewhere within the 90 degree range so that we have our palm facing upward. So the first one, the X range is making sure that our fingers are pointing forward. Uh, and the Z range is that our palm is facing upward. So we need both of those, otherwise it's just gonna get a little janky. Um, and then we have an actual if statement that's doing the work. So it says if X range, that means we're within that negative 10 to 10 range on X and Z range, we're within that 80 and 100 on the Z. And then we're also doing one more thing. We're saying and we are not holding an item. So we're checking the grabber and make sure that nothing is in our hand. So if we're within our X range and our Z range and we're not holding something, then we'll do this, which is quite simply, we're just setting the HUD to active, right? So we're turning it on. Um, if we're not in our Z range or we're holding something um, or we're out of our X range, then we'll do the else part of it, which is just setting that to off. So it sets active false which disables the interface. So um, that's all that is to do there. Um, it's very simple. So now that we have everything set up, let's go ahead and test this out. But before we do, let me uh, bring in a pistol so that we have something to test. So we'll just bring in pistol new, drop it on the floor there somewhere. And uh, let me just blow out of the way there. All right, so now let's test it out. All right, so here we are. Uh, if I do this with my right hand, nothing happens. If I do this with my left hand, you see there's a, a very particular range where the menu pops up. If I'm out of that range, it doesn't do anything. But if I strategically, and you can adjust these values, if I strategically position my hand, then the menu pops back up and then our left hand or our right hand can interact with the button of course you don't have to make a uh, a canvas you can actually put a game object there instead with colliders that way you can just uh, touch it with your hand instead of using the uh, interaction stuff there 
but the process is the same. We'll just activate it and disactivate it, de enable it and disable it. Um, and then with uh, holding something, so now I have the gun in my hand and you can see it no longer does what I want it to do. But if I drop the gun, the menu pops back up. So that is working and the gun fell through the floor. All right, so uh, as you can see, pretty easy, pretty quick, uh, works great. And uh, there you go. And there you have it, quick and easy as usual. If you would have done this dif differently, please make sure to leave a comment and let me know because I'm always looking to learn. Uh, the code for this as usual is available to my Patreon members. So if you want to become a Patreon member, do that. Um, and uh, again, if you found this helpful, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and I will keep making these videos. I'm still Skid Viz, so until next time, peace out. That's all unnecessary, so I'm just gonna boop my way out of this one.